video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Zotero, which is a reference management software, and ResearchRabbit, which is a software that allows you to easily be able to find new and relevant research papers together. So if you don't know about ResearchRabbit, you can use ResearchRabbit with an institutional email address for free, and you can use Zotero for free as well. And I will have both of those links uh, in the description below so that you can access both of these softwares. So I have multiple different tutorials on both ResearchRabbit and Zotero. And so I'll have those linked as well if you don't know anything about either of these softwares. However, today I really wanna show you how to use these softwares together. So let's get started with our ResearchRabbit. And so in this case, let's say that I have a collection in Zotero so if I open my Zotero, it looks like this, and these are my different collections within Zotero. And let's say I want to bring one of these collections from Zotero into ResearchRabbit to then be able to find relevant papers. So if you're a Zotero user, this is gonna be great for you because all the work you've put into developing your list in Zotero is super easy to use. So the first thing we wanna do is come up here and click Connect to Zotero. And so this is going to bring this in here, this is gonna bring us to this, and all we have to do is input in our information and click log into Zotero, close out of that. And then it's just going to ask us, would we like to allow ResearchRabbit to access our Zotero account? And I'm just gonna click accept defaults. So this is going to say that it can both read from your Zotero account and write to your Zotero account. And we're going to get to this screen that says Zotero integration successful. We can close this window and it's gonna bring us back to ResearchRabbit. Now we can see that where it said connect to Zotero, it now says import Zotero collection. So that's what you're gonna do if you're primarily a Zotero user and you're just now starting on ResearchRabbit. You wanna import your collections into ResearchRabbit so you can start working with those papers in ResearchRabbit. So let's click import Zotero connection, collection, sorry. And so this is gonna ask you to choose which one you want to import. And so you can see in this example, you can actually import the greater file or your subfolders. So these are your folders, these are your subfolders in Zotero. And I'm just going to pull this one in. So steroids and eye mobility, I'm gonna hit start sync. Then it's going to ask me, what is the name that I want this collection to have in ResearchRabbit? So you don't have to keep it the same name. You can call it steroids and eye mobility, but I have a steroids and eye mobility collection here. So instead, we're going to call it um, just steroids, just steroids. Let's call it that. And we're going to click OK. And then it's going to come in here and it's going to say, are these matches right? So in Zotero, some of my some of my papers did it have DOIs. So what is a, what ResearchRabbit is going to do first is look for the DOI and then pull the information. If it doesn't have a DOI, then it's going to look on the title and see if it can find a similar title. So in this case, you can just look at your titles and go, yep, that one's correct. That's the same paper there. Yep, you did a great job. Obviously, however, I pulled these into my Zotero. It did not um, call it did not connect the DOIs. So I'm gonna to have to do this for a good number of my papers. So you can see this one actually found two based off of the name. And we can see that this one is actually correct. The same thing happened here and here, and we're all set, okay. So now we've brought all of those papers in without having to do anything fancy to them. And so what you can actually see that's really interesting here is one, this has a comment on it. And this is because I made a comment on this paper at some time and place, and this has kept that comment here, probably for a tutorial before. And then you can also see that a couple of these papers are actually already in my account. And what it's telling me is that these are in my steroids and IM mobility collection. So if I go down here, I'm gonna be able to find this paper and this paper, I think that's it, yeah. So two of the papers that I just brought in, I actually already had in a different collection down here. What you can also see is collections that come from Zotero will have the Z here. And so that's just letting you know where that collection came from. 
So now if I wanted to, I could look for new work on here. So let's look for later work. Maybe I haven't searched these um, people or, or papers for a while. So I'm going to look in here. And so again, network analysis, if you don't know, check out this video above. Basically, you can use this as kind of themes for your paper. So my assumption is the ones down here are going to be the steroids and eye mobility ones. So let's add this to steroids. What's this one? Oh, I actually haven't read this one. So let's add that to steroids. Don't really care about that. And let's add this to steroids. So we just added three papers, which is great. But now how do we, we have new papers in here that aren't in our Zotero account, but maybe we want to always keep these synced together, right? Like we want to make sure that those three papers that I just added are also in my Zotero account for this collection. So it's actually really simple to do this. All you have to do is click resync with Zotero. When you do that, a little thing should pop up right here. Yep. And it says select successfully synced to um, Zotero. So if I come into my Zotero, you should be able to see that I now have 12 items in here where I only imported in nine items. So those three additional items have now been added in here and you can see them showing up here. Um, and if they have PDFs that it found, it will also pull those. So you can see this here actually did have PDFs that it found. So it pulled those PDFs in as well. So that's how you can, if you're primarily a Zotero user, start using ResearchRabbit really simply. Now, if you're primarily a ResearchRabbit user and you find your papers like I typically do in my tutorials, how do you start getting those into Zotero? So let's use my most recent uh, collection I created in my tutorials. And I'm actually going to move this one down here because it's, you know, for a tutorial video. So mass spectrometry imaging paper. So what if I now want this into my Zotero, right? So I created this in ResearchRabbit. It didn't come from Zotero. So it's actually really simple. Once you've connected your Zotero account, all you have to do is come down here and click sync to Zotero. And if I do that, it's going to now ask me, what is the name that I want this collection to have in Zotero? They actually do not have to match. So it's not just automatically gonna give it a mass spectrometry imaging name but I can give it mass spectrometry imaging. They can be the same, they just don't have to be. So let's click okay. And then it's gonna say successfully synced it. So if we come down here, we can see I now have this new collection and it might still be a no, it looks like it added everything. So sometimes if you have a lot, you'll see it slowly keep adding in and adding in. But you can now see that my mass spectrometry imaging now has papers in here that came from my research rabbit. And you will also see that in here, this has now turned into a resync with Zotero instead of it being a sync. So now if I added papers here, all I have to do is resync and it's going to pull those papers into my Zotero as well. So that's the overview for how to use Zotero. If you ever want to disconnect a Zotero account, you can easily come into your settings and then you just click disconnect Zotero account and it will delete that. That's what I actually did. So I could show you how to resync it up because I had already had my Zotero account synced up. If you are just getting started in working with ResearchRabbit or Zotero, I really um, would suggest getting my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It is a free guide that walks you through how to develop um, what papers you wanna read, how to look for papers, and then how to start coming up with your own novel idea and developing out your research project while you're still reading the papers to get to learn your field. So that is completely free and is available also in a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and next week I'm going to be coming out with an awesome video on how to actually connect your research rabbit and your notion together really simply. So make sure that you subscribe or stay updated so that you can watch that video as well to become an expert in how to use research rabbit. I hope to see you in that video.